All right, welcome back to the Modern Jack channel. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I wanted to make sure I made this video just as a thanks. Uh, so I actually just got this box in the mail today. And this is actually a giveaway from Danny Phantom and his YouTube channel. So if you haven't gone to Danny Phantom's channel before, uh, I will post it in the description below with a link. But I highly recommend watching his channel. I've had the opportunity to meet him a couple times and followed his channel for a couple years. And he's just a really great guy, a really great part of the Pokemon community. And I just wanted to do this as a thanks to just open up some of the stuff I got from him. Uh, so we, let's take a look at what I actually got from him. So he sent me all four of the UPCs from the Sword and Shield era. So I've got the original Sword and Shield Ultra Premium collection here which I actually don't have in my collection, so I'm going to leave that one sealed. And then we've got the Charizard UPC, which I do have in my collection, so I'm actually going to open that today. And then this is the nice one. We got the Celebrations UPC, uh, which this one I definitely want to keep sealed. It was hard to get this, so um, definitely going to keep that one sealed for now. And then finally, we got the 151 premium ultra premium collection which i'm really looking forward to open opening because i'm uh actually hoping to complete this uh set and i've started working on it but any more packs will definitely help with that so um i wanted to rip into these today so i think we'll start with the charizard upc and we'll just pull this open and see what we got in here for packs. I actually don't ever remember what we have in packs for this one. I know it's an assortment from the Sword and Shield era, so we'll just uh, look at it as a surprise. I think there are some um, evolving Skies packs in here, which are always fun to open. Hopefully we can pull that Umbreon. So we'll take a look at this and I apologize for the setup. This is my first attempt in this kind of setup. So hopefully everything works out with the video here, but uh, and hopefully you can see everything as we open it here. So it's a really nice box. This is definitely one of the nicer sturdy boxes here. I know the 151 is a little bit thinner. Looks like we've got the playmat here, uh, which I'll go ahead and open. Um, definitely like to use different playmats. I play the trading card game as much as I can. and. Well, it's always nice to kind of switch it up here, so take a look at this. I'm sure many have seen it at this point. This one looks awesome with the Charizard VMAX on here. It's pretty sweet. Let's see what else we got in here. It's like three different boxes. We got our sleeves. We've got the dice, or the damage counters, which are really nice and nice and heavy. I might actually use these as well. Got some metal ones from TC Evolutions, but these are pretty sweet. And then we've got the, um, I always forget the name of these, the uh, effect markers as well. I'll leave this stuff in here for now. In the middle here, it looks like we've got some of the packs. So we've got four fusion strike, got a coin, got our V-Star marker, and four, nope, sorry, three Evolving Skies and a Vivid Voltage. It looks like one more drawer here. We've got two Lost Origin, three Astral Radiance, three Brilliant Stars, and then of course our promos as well, which I'm going to keep sealed for now. I'll leave those in. Actually, I'll put those out. All right, let's get this box out of the way. I think we'll just get into ripping these. See if we get any good pulls. So let's see. I always like to do these in an order. Save Evolving Skies for last, of course. I do like pulling or ripping a Lost Origin. I do like Brilliant Stars as well. So let's do them like this. So let's start with yeah, let's start with Vivid Voltage and see what we get here. Looks like we only have one Vivid Voltage. It's 
So we'll do the card trick. I think, nope, just a Diancy. All right, we'll pull, let's do a Fusion Strike next. And I do actually play the card game, so I am not showing the code cards for this one, if I can help it. Let's do the card trick again. this one. Again, I just want to give a shout out to Danny Phantom. I really appreciate this giveaway. Uh, it's a blast to open. Um, just a really stand-up guy. I do appreciate his channel and just what he does for the community and just really appreciate the insight he gives to, uh, uh, to the community just about the cost of things and even with owning a store, you know, he's just really reasonable about things and uh, I just appreciate that. All right, got a Mu Max out of this one. So I do have this one, uh, a couple of these because I played this deck for a, a little while in the community. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a nice one here as well. So I'll set that aside. I'll actually sleeve it up too. Let's open another. It would be really nice to find one of the alt arts of that, but that might be our pull for today, so we'll see. I've probably only opened about 10 fusion strike packs overall. I just really didn't open too much of the set. I bought the cards I needed for the trading card game and then just kind of stayed away from it otherwise, but Still fun if you can pull an alt art from it. And nothing more from there. All right, well, we got the Mew VMAX. That's always a nice card to see. Still playable, surprisingly, after a couple of years of being in the standard format, so. All right, let's jump into some Astral Radiance here. This is not really one of my favorite sets, but still some interesting pulls. Tell you what, the print on these cards so far all just seem a little bit darker. Kind of interesting. All right, we got the Suian Decidui V-Star. It's playable for a week, but uh, definitely a cool card to pull here. probably still all go in my collection. And again, didn't pull a lot of these, so any that I can get that I didn't have before, I like to add to my collection. Oh, interesting. Got the regular rare and the reverse holo there. All right, why don't we jump to Brilliant Stars, so, and from this set, I still want to pull the Charizard, not just because of the Charizard, but I really like the Venusaur on it. Uh, that was always my favorite starter. Um, pulled the Arceus, surprisingly, out of two packs from a tournament, but, um, yeah, I'd still love to see the Charizard at some point. Yeah, 
and I know from Danny's channel that the price of the Charizard is actually going down right now, so I might just have to pick it up separately at some point here. All right, we got the Trainer Gallery Rapid Strike Urshifu V, and then just a non hollow rare. That's pretty cool though. I definitely like the Trainer Galleries. I don't really know why. I guess they're easier to pull, but I think they're just as cool of artwork as the uh, alt arts. Brilliant Stars was definitely one of my favorite from Sword and Shield. I think there's some pretty cool uh, pulls from here and just it was a really fun set when it came out too. Nice, got an area dose trainer gallery and just a light bard. Let me put these in sleeves. One of the brilliant stars. Let's see what we get from here. And just Scar Chomp. Not too bad though. Two trainer galleries out of that. That's actually pretty nice to get from four packs. All right, jump to Lost Origin. Um, I do really like opening this set. I've probably opened the most of this set recently. Just prices went down when they reprinted some and. Yeah, I just like to pick it up whenever I could. I think it's a pretty fun set to open. And, um, yeah, just some cool pulls you can get from it too. Giratina V Star is pretty sweet. Sorry, Giratina V. And just Spinette. Alright, the Radiant Steelix, always nice to see the Radiance. I think those are some pretty sweet cards. I tried to pick up as many as I could just for playing. Um, make sure I have a copy of each one since we can only put one in our decks, but uh, just like to have those available whenever possible. I'll put that one in a sleeve. And then on to Evolving Skies. Of course everyone's favorite, or at least favorite, depending on how your pulls go. Alright, got a Golurk V. Not one of the evolutions, but still uh, nice to get an Ultra Rare. Two more packs. Just a slacking with the slack off. All right, one more. And then we'll get to the 151 UPC, which I'm definitely looking forward to. I have a ton of cards I still need to add to my collection for that one. It's hard to find any of the, uh, the bulk from that set still, so I'd love to get anything to fill in the gaps in my collection. Such a 
just an Altaria. All right. Well, we got one V out of the uh, Evolving Skies packs, but not too bad. Out of the set, I'd say this is a pretty good pull with a couple trainer galleries, a Radiant, and then, uh, you know, V-Star, V-Max, and V. We've got the full variety here. So why don't we jump into the 151 next? I need to get a little bit organized here, so I'll just get these put together. All right. Now we'll get into this, and I know many people have said this, but this box is significantly larger than uh, the celebrations or the Charizard UPC. It seems like every one gets bigger. I have a couple of them in my collection, and each one is just a little bit bigger than the one that's stacked on top of it. So, if you haven't opened any 151 yet, and you have any nostalgia with Pokemon, I highly recommend opening it. It is definitely a fun set. The artwork is some of the best, I think, and just, yeah, it's a fun set overall to open. All right. It just This box display is pretty cool. I'll try to get it under the camera so you can see, but you've got the, the three different promos up here, which I think I'm just gonna leave as they are. Hmm. I might bring those on in a second. I, I like to keep them in the wrapper, but uh, we'll see on that. But I do want to get into the packs. Looks like we've got some damage counters. These are just plastic. Um, your effect markers are pretty cool, I think. Even though they're plastic here, they do look pretty cool. And then you got a big coin. Uh, the deck box, which is pretty nice. I might actually end up using that um, for some of my decks. And then you've got a playmat here. And I don't think I'm going to pull this one out for now. I think I'll leave that in here. But uh, let's get to the packs here. This is really what it's about. These are still hard to come by at times here, so definitely looking forward to opening some. Yeah, let's take a look at these promos real quick, though. So we've got the Mew EX, which looks just absolutely beautiful. I am glad that they put it in here. I know it would have been a valuable card if they put it in the set, but um, it's just nice to be able to get it from a promo uh, as a promo. And then this one's pretty cool here. Let's see how I get this out. Don't really want to mess this one up too much. If I can help it. I do like these metal cards a lot. Yeah, that is a cool card. I really like the metal cards. I just think they're such a unique niche and just done really well. Beautiful on the back with the, the combination of you know, the gold on here, the shine there, but then also just what looks like a normal card as well. So this one's definitely going in my collection as well. All right, try that again. So let's get into these packs. I think we have 16 packs. Let's see, there's six there. Another six and four, yeah, 16 packs. Get right into it. Two, Poliwag, Machamp. I don't think I have Machamp yet, so that'll be good. don't know how the channels do it so well with ripping the packs open. I have not figured it out quite yet. Enema, Victory Bell, and Kangaskhan. I do think I have this one already, but still exciting to find. And we got one of the hollow energies. I really do like the cosmic hollows. If I get enough of the psychic, I might put it in my guardy deck. Or I just might end up buying them at some point and putting them in there. I think we might have something. I made Rattata. Nope, another Machamp. Man, pulled a couple of those.
Oh, right. Again, I really love the artwork from this set. I think they just did a fantastic job with it. Some of the others, I think, kind of get old, but these are definitely nice. An Aerodactyl and a Dark Cosmic Hollow. Tell you what, 151 does feel a bit top heavy. It's definitely the um, the illustration rares that are costly. I did the math recently on uh, many of the ones that I still need, and it's easily $500 worth of cards. So hopefully I'll get one or two of those from here. That'll ease the burden of trying to find those later. A Pidgeot, Execute, and Vileplume. So far, we're kind of striking out. We've gotten one EX so far. I think we've opened, let's see, three, six, six packs already. So a little bit short on the pulls. We expect two, I think, at this point. Maybe not. Thought it was one and three, but could be wrong. All right, Mew EX, very nice. Definitely a playable card too, um, along with the Mew VMAX, right? Um, Mew always seems to be a playable card for sure, but that'll be nice. I might put that in my, uh, well, we'll see. I've got one, I definitely want to use one for my decks if possible too, so. And I'm gonna put these in sleeves too, what am I thinking? Squirrel's nice. There we go. I think that might be my first war turtle so far. What? Another Mew EX. Two in a row. I don't think there was a single pack between that. Man. That is nice. That will be a tradable card for me for sure. Try to pick up another EX or so. Maybe a couple. picking up steam here. Well, the X's in a row. It changes, changes things around. All right. It's hard to remember which cards I don't have at this point. I just, I know that some of these I haven't seen before, but it's hard to remember which ones. Wheezing, lightning, One tough thing with the UPC is a lot of the values and the promos you get here, plus the playmat and other things. So if you're really looking just for the cards, it's not the best value to pick up. It's nice to open one. I'm definitely excited that I get to open one now. Thanks, Danny, again. But, uh, you know, it wouldn't be my choice for opening to try to get the cards I need. Definitely not the right value. Booster bundles are definitely the best value. Boot tops and nice. The water looks really nice. Yeah, nothing beats the Cosmic Hall in my opinion. I think it's definitely some of the best. I know there's two versions now. This looks like the newer version, but they just look so nice. Right. 
Taurus. I, think, I don't think I've gotten that one yet. Nice. Arbok EX. Definitely not one I have. Looks really well centered too. I do try to finish the collection with as good a centering as possible, but you know, with some of the more expensive ones, I think I'll just take what I can get. So one out of 16 packs, maybe hope for five pulls. Six would be really nice, but five would be... Well, five would be good. Okay, just fire energy. All right, we're down to our last five here. Man, this is so much fun to open. I just don't really want to stop. <laughs> All right. P, Eevee, Kadabra, Ivysaur, Slibro, Parasect, Paris, and Vileplume. All right, one illustration rare would be good. 16 packs. Is that, is that a, too much to ask? I don't know. Got a full art, but what do you call it? A, I guess a special illustration rare is what I'm hoping for, but... Tor, Magneton, Nidal Queen, that's a new one for me. Victory Bell, Muck, Gengar, Gyarados, and another Psychic. Fable, Tentacool, Shelter, and Odrio. Crabby, Sentru, Seal, Doduo, Big Air Balloon, Primate, Fero, Grabber, Needle King Reverse, and hey, we, there we go. Alakazam EX Illustration Rare. I guess that what it's called? I don't know. Is it full art? I still call it a full art. The new names are. Still a bit confusing to me, I should probably figure them out, but I just know a good card when I see it. Last pack. Squirtle, Wicketong, Venonat, Pidgey, Tentacruel, Bitmon Lee, Wartortle, Doduo, there we go, Mr. Mime, and Flareon. All right, let me just sleeve up this last one. And I'd say that's a pretty good end. We got six at the end of the day, which is what I was kind of hoping for. So uh, again, Danny, I just really appreciate it. Just want to give a shout out to you. Uh, thanks for your channel, for all you do, and just appreciate the giveaway. This is definitely an exciting thing to open on uh, you know, a weeknight. Uh, just appreciate you getting it in the mail and I uh, look forward to many more videos from you in the future.